tank length is 100 millimeter, connecting round is 300 millimeter, uh, with center of gravity G is 100 millimeter from B. Right? So, usually, you know, center of gravity should act on the midpoint of the connecting rod, but here it's special case, it's acting on the uh, point G, which is 100 millimeter from B. The crankshaft has a speed of 75 rp, 75 rad per second, and an angular acceleration of 1200 rad per second squared, right? So, this question is different from the previous question. There, the connect, uh, crank was rotating at a constant rp. All right, but here. At this particular incident, it is rotating at 75 rad per second meter uh, rad per second velocity, angular velocity, and 1200 rad per second squared acceleration. Right? Find the velocity of G, so G is the point which is in a connecting rod, and angular velocity of AB, right? Angular velocity of connecting rod again, and acceleration of G. And angular acceleration of AB, right? This is the question asked. Okay. Velocity and acceleration of point D and connecting rod AB. So, first we will open a sketch diagram. There should be a slider, right? Wait. There is a slider. Uh, connecting rod is uh, 120 degree. This is the point B, and this is 100 millimeter from B. And here is A, C. Right? Any point that I miss, uh, C, B is not okay. This is also 100 millimeter. So this is 75. Rad per second and 1200 rad per second square. Right? So, in the previous case, connecting rod did not have any angular acceleration since it was moving constant velocity. Now it has some acceleration. Okay, now this acceleration is going to come into picture. So, this is our space diagram. Okay, uh, we'll try to find as many components as we can before going for the velocity diagram. Okay, uh, BC, right, velocity, BC can be found because acceleration is given. BBC is equal to omega into R, okay, that is equal to 75 rad per second into 100 millimeter, that is equal to 0 0.1 meter, which will give you 7.5 meter per second, right? So, velocity of BC is found. Since the angular acceleration of the crankshaft alpha is given, okay, this tangential acceleration alpha is given 1200 rad per second square. Okay. So from this one, I can find the AT, that is tangential acceleration of the connect, uh, crank, that is equal to alpha into radius, right? Alpha into R. Alpha is given 1200 rad per second squared into R. R is 0 0.1, okay, which means I will have 120 meter per second squared, okay. So now I found the velocity of the BC and acceleration of the BC. Note that this A is the acceleration and alpha is the angular acceleration, okay. Similar way, V is the velocity and omega is the angular velocity. Don't confuse with these two terms. Okay. Omega is equal to V upon R. Similar way, alpha is equal to A upon R. Right. So from the given data, I can found all the I can find these things I have already found. Now we will go for the velocity diagram. So this space diagram should be drawn to a scale. Huh? So, if this is 100 millimeter, this is 100 millimeter, you need to draw it to a particular scale. Right? So, now we will start from the non velocities, we will start, right? So, this is a velocity B, sorry, link BC. The velocity is going to act perpendicular to that, right? The velocity is act perpendicular to that. So, I will draw 
a line like this okay which is going to be parallel to this one right? and i can mark it as velocity of v with respect to c or bv for the same right so now i have marked the velocity of the point b with respect to c as bc right so this is fixed point this is moving point cd all right so now cd vector is drawn which is the velocity of the point b with respect to c we know that this is 7.5 meter per second so i can take 7.5 cm right you can take for some other different scale right 7.5 meter per second as i will take it as 7.5 cm so this is my scale 1 meter per second is equal to 1 cm this is going to be my scale so don't forget the scale factor huh? from point b right so now we have to find the velocity of connecting rod and the slider right so now what we have to do from point b we'll draw a perpendicular which is to be act perpendicular to this right it is going to be act perpendicular to this so here i am going to make a similar this and this should be parallel right that is done okay but i don't know the magnitude of that okay then i will draw this one okay uh which one is this this is the slider okay so i will go from c to a so this is the third line right this is the slider i can mark this one as a right this one as a So this vector B A and this vector C A will intersect at a point, and that point is our A point, right? So roughly this is done. Now we need to go the point G, which is hundred meter from hundred millimeter from B, right? So from B, what's a hundred millimeter, right? So I can say like B A upon okay B G, right? B G upon B A should be equal to in this diagram B G upon B A, right? So for this scale, I will mark a point G on uh, B A, right? So I will mark a point G. Okay. So remember that this scale should be applied. Okay, and I have to join the rest here, right? I will join it to find the angular velocity. Okay. Since of the point G lies on A B, right? This is G. This lies on A B. Therefore, I have to divide the vector A B is at B so that A G is mod A G upon mod A B should be equal to capital A G upon capital A B. So now, by measurement, we can find all these velocities. C A we can find, A B we can find. Right? But question asked on the book C G. So I will measure this one and multiply with the scale factor so that I will have six point eight meter per second. So once I measure it, it is coming as six point eight meter per second. All right. Also, I can find the A B and A C also. So if I measure and found A B is going to come as four meter per second, right? So from this, I can find the angular velocity of A B, right? I told you angular velocity omega is equal to e upon r. B I have already found that is four. R this length, so length of A B. A B is how much? The question is you know, right? Three hundred millimeter. It is three hundred millimeter. So upon zero point three, three hundred millimeter is three zero point three meters. So once I solve it, 
I will have 13.3 that was okay okay so omega a b is found right omega a b is found uh, this four is b a b this is b b b c b omega a b now i have found so this is all asked from the acceleration diagram even you can find this one a c but since it is not asking the question i didn't find okay. now we will go for acceleration diagram okay acceleration diagram so from the data we obtain first we will get some values which can be marked in the acceleration diagram right so we will again start with the known value b c right so i can find a r b c and a t b c right? a r is standard radial a t is tangential so radial b c is equal to b square b c upon i told you a is equal to b square upon r b b c b b c is found 7.5 meter per second so that is 7.5 squared upon meter second minus one zero point one is the radius right this is zero point one so zero point one is the radius you will have uh five hundred and sixty two point five meter per second squared five hundred and sixty two point five meter per second squared Okay, so that is your A R B C. That is radial component of B C number one. Then I will go for tangential component of B C. Right, tangential component of B C. That is alpha upon R. Right. Alpha upon R. Once we start drawing the diagram, we'll come back to this. Okay, we'll find it. Then another fact I can find is I can find the radial component of AB also. Right, AB also because I have found BAB is four. Right, so radial component of AB equal to B squared AB upon R uh, that is equal to four squared upon R A B R is three hundred that is zero point three three hundred millimeter that is zero point three meter which will give you fifty three point three meter per second square fifty three point three meter per second square okay so we'll start with these two terms whether we can try to find the acceleration right? so start from the Known factors first, right? So B C is the known components, right? B C I know the velocity. Space diagram is there. I found the acceleration also, right? So I will start with this, right? So parallel to C B, I will start C dash B dash, right? Parallel to C B, I will go for C dash B dash. Okay, because radial velocity is parallel to the line and tangent, and tangential velocity is perpendicular to the line. Okay, so I will first go with this. So this is radial velocity, which is found to be five hundred and sixty-two point five meter per second. Okay, so my scale factor. I will take it as a uh, five point six centimeter. Right, five point six two five. You say, right? Five point six two five centimeter. I will take it as my scale factor. You can take some other factor also. Just you need to mention it. Whatever the scale factor you are taking, you need to mention it. Right. So now this is mark. Right, five point six two five. That is mark. Then from point B dash, right? From B dash, I need to mark 
a b double dash why because that is tangential component right so there i am not going to go for another letter j okay i will mark it as b double dash and you know this is going to be perpendicular to this okay i don't know whether it will lie in this side or that side but i know this is going to be perpendicular to the radial component okay right. radial component i have only found 562 this is tangential component this should be perpendicular to this right now i need that value right so i will find it i already did not found it so bc then this 100 mm that is 0.1 meter so 1200 by 0.1 that is equal to 120 meter per second square this 1200 right per second square which is given in the question alpha upon r so that is 120 so i will have at that is tangential component of bc is 120 meter per second we'll have it as it is right then i will go for joining the c dash and b dash so this is the resultant of this tangential and radial right this is going to be the resultant of tangential and radial So if I mark these points, uh, say for example, I have B dash here. Okay, so I will join these two. So this is the resultant of C dash and B dash. So this is tangential, not tangential. And this is radial. Okay, this is the Resultant. I will write this as uh, B C. And here also B C. This is A B C. Right. Acceleration of B C. Now I will go to find the next known factor. That is A R A B. That is fifty three point three meter per second. Right. Fifty three point three meter per second square. A B. Right? Here is our A B, and this is radial component. So parallel to this, I am going to mark the line. Right. So I will go with some other color. Right. This is going to be parallel to this. Okay. And I don't know. This is parallel, and I know the value also. Right. So since my scale factor is 562.5 is equal to 5.625, this is going to be 0.533 centimeter. I will mark this point as x, right? And this component that is connecting rod, which is going to have a tangential component also, but I don't know that. Yes, I don't know the mechanism of that, but it is definitely going to be perpendicular to this. So I will mark a perpendicular line. Okay, so this I don't know the magnitude of that. Let it be. Okay, that's why I mark it in the dotted line. But this slider, this should move either this way or this way, right? So from C, my A is somewhere going to be in this line, right? So my C to A this line. And this line in intersecting at this point, I'm going to join these two, and which is going to give me the acceleration of AB, right? So this is tangential of AB, and this is radial of AB. This tangential of AB and this radial of AB is going to give me acceleration AB, right? So beside the known factors, so AR AB, ARBC we know it's already found here, right? ATBC, 
already known why we have found here a r a b is known we already found here right so beside this we can measure whatever the diameters we need right i can measure this multiply with the scale factor and i can find the a a b that is acceleration of a b similar way i can find c b c dash b dash by measurement of this into multiplying with the scale factor right and i have a point g also right so g is from b that is 100 mm 100 mm okay so my b from b towards a that is 100 mm right from b towards a that is 100 mm so from here according to my scale factor i should mark a point g here right so this length to this length should be equal to this length to this length right so here i will mark it as g dash so b dash g dash upon b dash a dash should be equal to b g upon a right once i mark that point g all right i need to join it right so the g point i need to find the acceleration as well as the angular acceleration so i will join it with c dash here right okay so i need to find this length right so if i have measured this one a dash b dash and i multiply with this scale factor i will have the acceleration of g dash point right so that is c dash g dash when you multiply it that will be coming as 414 meter per second square right so c dash g dash If you measure it and multiply it with the scale factor, this will be coming as 414 meter per second square. Right? Also, from this we can find the alpha of the BA. That's also the question, right? Alpha of the BA is also the question. So alpha BA that is tangential part of BA into R, right? Tangential part of BA upon R. So tangential of BA we can measure from the diagram, right? BA, where's BA? Okay, here, right? AB. So tangential part of AB I can measure from the diagram, right? Divided by the radius. So AB the radius is so not radius, yeah. AB the length is zero point three, right? So once you measure it, this is coming as five hundred. 60 sorry 46 meter per second square upon the length is 0.3 okay so when you solve it you will have 1820 meter per second square right so here you see we have totally five lines why because here this connecting rod does not have only Omega, but it does have some acceleration also, right? So for B C, I have A T and they are tangential and radial acceleration. For B A, I have tangential and radial acceleration. For C A, I will have only radial acceleration and no tangential acceleration, right? Since it is moving only this way, right? So you see here one, two, three, four, five components you must have. So A R of B C, A T of B C, we check. A R of B C, A T of B C. Two components are there. A T of A B, A R of A B. A R of A B, A T of A B, and A R of A C. Yeah, A R of A C. Right. So 
AAC. Okay, I have all these five components. And also, I will have two resultants. So, AR of AB and AT of AB will have a resultant. Similar way, AT of BC and AR of BC will have a resultant. Right? This would be the only resultant because it has only one velocity. Right? So, this is how we cross check with our uh, diagram. Right? Whether we have marked like all the points or did we miss any points, this is how we check with the uh, diagram. Right? If it is, uh, so these are certain ground, uh, like considerations. If it is rotating in constant angular acceleration or sorry, constant angular velocity grind, then tangential acceleration would be zero. If there's a slider, then tangential acceleration would be zero. Okay, so when you solve the numericals, you need to concentrate on these two points, right? So once you draw it, only thing you have to do is measuring it with multiplying with the scale factor and then just write the answer, right? 